Hello everybody, welcome to the Full Core Press. I am your host, Drew Duncan. Do not forget that Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is all at Drew Duncan 83 Additionally, you can find me on YouTube. Simply look out for Drew Duncan. And of course, you can find our Full Court Press subsidiaries, the Full Court Press Football, Basketball, and MMA on Facebook and Instagram. And when you share our posts, don't forget to use the hashtag, don't you dare touch that dial. Uh, Rob Gronkowski retires, and it's the same old media hoopla that it is every time somebody who's great retires, right? Is he the greatest of all time at tight end? Is he the greatest of all time at running back, quarterback? Is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? While I'm sure that it's entertaining for a lot of other people to talk about, I myself, I get kind of annoyed with it every damn time, right? James Harrison retires. Is he the greatest of all time at his position? Is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? Is I mean, it just... It get every damn time and it gets so annoying, right? And let's just say for whatever reason here that Gronkowski gets a wild hair up his ass, which he's been known to do and unretire kind of like Jason Witten when he retired and now he's unretiring and coming back to the Dallas Cowboys. So all that goat talk that we have with Jason Witten, it all kind of goes away for a little bit, doesn't it? Because now because of the way things are in the, in the world today. And I don't think they should be like this, but now his last season is going to mark his legacy, at least for a while. So, you know, when these kinds of things happen, I I don't know where this whole thing got started, but I'm tired of goat debates to begin with. I'm tired of the goat debate with Jordan, LeBron and Kobe. I'm tired of the goat debate at quarterback. I'm tired of the, you know, greatest head coach of all time thing. I mean, I, you know, I, it's cool to talk about, but you know, to me, that's just kind of guys, you know, pal around about, you know, it's not something that should be all over the place all the time. You know, if I were to go to my friend's house every single day and all I wanted to talk about was who the greatest boxer of all time is, he'd get really annoyed and be like, dude, don't you have anything else to talk about, bro? And that's coming from people who know what my line of work is, right? They know. And look, as far as Rob Gronkowski goes, he had a hell of a career. It really is a shame that he continuously was injured um, in the last few seasons the way that he was. Because speaking as a Broncos fan, I'll never forget, I'm watching one game of Gronkowski when they're playing against Denver. And I mean, he made this play where he was having a turnaround, catch the ball with one hand, fending off like three defenders with another. He's balancing on his tiptoes. He brings it down and then he rumbles into the end zone for a touchdown. You don't see that kind of caliber of athlete all the time. And that's why I'm so triggered, or bothered by this debate, because it's just like, why can't we step back for a moment and just appreciate the career of Rob Gronkowski or anybody else that's ever chose to dedicate their entire being to playing in the game of football, to being an MMA fighter, basketball, golf, baseball, whatever. I mean, these athletes literally dedicate themselves to everything. They, they take away so much time from their families. They take away so much time from their friends, stuff that they could be out doing. And instead, where are they at? They're somewhere watching film. They're somewhere in a gym working out. You know, it's hard to find that balance in life. I can guarantee you ask any athlete and they will tell you the most difficult part of what I do is balancing home and what I have to do at work. It takes a very understanding partner to understand what it takes to be a successful athlete, period. And I think that when a guy like a Gronkowski retires, and the first question that we want to ask is, is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? Is he the greatest tight end of all time? You know, it downplays what he meant to the game of football because it's so immediate. We haven't even had a chance to really remember Gronkowski yet. He's only been retired for barely 24 hours. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, (laughs) you know, 
And to me, the other thing, and this is the last thing I want to go with this, and I've said this before with the whole GOAT debate thing, and I want to reiterate this very quickly, and that is you have to downplay the careers of others because you have to talk about how somebody was overrated in this one particular aspect or fell short in this one particular aspect, and so that automatically makes the other guy better. And I'm not saying that there aren't athletes that are clear cut in a way better than others. But to me, a lot of times it's like comparing water to Gatorade or Gatorade to Powerade. You know, you've got water, Gatorade and Powerade are all supposed to rehydrate, replenish. Right. Then, of course, Gatorade and Powerade are supposed to have certain vitamins in it. Water is supposed to have certain minerals in it. They're all good for your body. I mean, and they're all meant to be enjoyed. Right. Water to a lot of people. They hate the taste of it, but they drink it. And some people actually enjoy drinking water like me. I love drinking water. I hardly ever have a can of soda in my hand. Seriously. Um, And then, of course, you've got how many different flavors of Gatorade, right? You got orange and blue and, you know, and then, of course, they, you know, goes deeper from there and all that. So the point that I'm making is it becomes really just kind of silly making all these comparisons because we compare these guys and then we leave other guys out of the, the talk, right? Nobody ever talks about Shannon Sharp for being one of the greatest tight ends of all time. And he is. A lot of people only remember a guy like a John Mackey because he gets brought up out of necessity or on social media by some real old school guy, you know? So it, it just, you have to downplay somebody else's career to a point where it becomes insulting is the point that I'm making. Right. LeBron James has been to nine championships, but he's only won three of them. He's just not that good. He's overrated. Michael Jordan won six. He's got more rings. He's better. It's it's that automatic, you know, and I've always felt like everybody's entitled to one. Right. Like an overrated person or whatever, an athlete, like everybody's entitled to one. For me, it's Peyton Manning. I think he's a little overrated. You know, I mean, there's just, I I feel like everybody's entitled to that. But I I learned a long time ago that you can take things too far. And I feel like these debate discussions ultimately take things way too far. Stuff gets way lost in translation. Um, Victories and moments get taken way out of context. And it just, it's something that I, I personally, for the most part, Stay away from. Remember, I talked about this the other day with Kobe Bryant. I can't definitively win this. That's what Kobe Bryant said. Not because he's not good or because he wasn't great, but because you're, you're you have to lose certain comparisons with a guy like a Jordan and a Kobe and LeBron. You know, the power that LeBron has is not something that Kobe and Jordan had, but the finesse that Kobe and Jordan had is not something that LeBron has. I mean, it's just. So uh, regardless, the point is, congratulations, Rob Gronkowski, on a phenomenal career. And um, ultimately, I think one day we will see you in Canton, but who knows when, because who knows what other name is going to come up in the ballot those years. So I am Drew Duncan, host of the Full Court Press. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is all at DrewDuncan83. Don't forget to use the hashtag, don't you dare touch that dial when you share our posts. Search me out on YouTube, look for Drew Duncan. Of course, the Full Court Press and our subsidiaries, football, basketball, and MMA. And as always, don't you dare touch that dial.